Good evening. Today we will be covering the post market update dated the 11th of August 2023. Benchmark indices ended lower for the second consecutive session on August 11th with Nifty below 19,450 at close. The Sensex was down 365.53 points or 0.56% at 65,322.65 and the Nifty was down 114.80 points, or 0.59% at 19,428.30. HCL Tech, Power Grid Corporation, and Titan Company were among the top gainers on the Nifty, while the top losers were Indusind Bank, NTPC, and Divi's Labs. Talking about the corporate segment, we have. Shares of Apollo Tires Limited tumbled over 6% on August 11th despite recording a robust set of numbers for the April-June quarter. The tire major reported a two-fold rise in consolidated net profit for the first quarter to Rs crore, driven by robust sales across multiple markets. Both Apollo and CAT yielded negative returns last month, but MRF stayed in the green with 4% gain. Shares of GM M. Fordler soared over 11% on August 11 after the glass-lined equipment manufacturer reported a sequential growth in net profit for the quarter ended June 2023. The company posted a consolidated net profit of Rs 54.27 crore in quarter 1, financial year 2024, down 11.71% from Rs 61.47 crore in the year-ago quarter. Sequentially, the net profit was up 48.8% from Rs 36.47 crore in the March 2023 quarter. Shares of Sequent Scientific tumbled nearly 8% on August 11 after the company reported widening of its net loss to Rs 34.7 crore for the quarter ended June 2023. The Animal Health, Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients and Formulations Company had posted a consolidated net loss of 15.3 rupees crore in quarter one financial year 2023, it said in a post market hours filing on August 10. HCL tech surges most in 14 months after $2.1 billion Verizon deal. HCL Technologies expects the deal to have a positive revenue impact over the next six years, beginning November 2023. The partnership between Verizon and HCL Tech will help usher in a new era of large-scale wireline service delivery for enterprise customers. Shares of Texmaco Rail, an engineering gain 2% to touch the 52-week high of Rs 119.50 on August 11, after the company entered into a strategic alliance with Hindalco Industries for making aluminium rail wagons and coaches. Hindalco will provide profiles, sheets and plates of its unique aluminium alloys, along with fabrication and welding expertise, a statement said on August 10. Texmaco will bring in technical expertise and be responsible for design, setting up the factory, production line and providing skilled workers. Torrent power declines despite upbeat quarter one results. While the EBITDA increased 11.7%, to Rs 1,184.8 crore for the June quarter, the EBITDA margin declined to 16.2% from 16.3% in quarter 1, financial year 2023. Torrent Power is a leading Indian power and energy company under the Torrent Group. It is an integrated power utility player with interests in power generation, transmission, distribution, and manufacturing and supply of power cables. Prakash Steelage in daily time frame is trading around 5.50 points with a change of 19.57%, and is trading with a net volume of around 10.72 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 5.35, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 87.15. Oriental Trimex in daily time frame is trading around 7.05 points with a change of 16.53%, and is trading with a net volume of around 1.47 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 6.85 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 80.09. Indian Overseas Bank in daily time frame is trading around 30.55 points with a change of 13.66%, 
and is trading with a net volume of around 173.935 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 27.50 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 75.10. For stocks to watch, we have. Payton looks good on current market price of 864. It can be bought at 665 rupees keeping target of 897 rupees with stop loss of 724. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.